Hi, I'm Tom. I'm your friendly land protection specialist for the Edisto Island Open Land Trust. I'm out here at the Hutchinson House today, and I'm going to give you a little introduction into black lighting for insects. Black lighting, night lighting, or light trapping for insects, whatever you want to call it, is an incredibly powerful tool for surveying the biodiversity of our local insect populations. It's a survey technique used by both professional researchers and amateurs, like myself, in order to get a better understanding of the nocturnal insects that surround us. One of the great things about black lighting is it lets you see insects that you would never see otherwise. Um, most of our insects are nocturnal, and unless you find them dead on the sidewalk or crawled up in a windowsill or something, you're never going to see them. Black lighting draws in those insects directly to you so that you can get an exquisite detailed look at them, and it really gives you a deeper understanding of the kind of insect biodiversity that's surrounding us. So I'm out here at the Hutchinson House tonight for two main reasons. Uh, one, I want to get a really good understanding of the biodiversity of our insect populations out here at the Hutchinson House. Um, this property has some interesting native habitats, specifically the wild meadows, uh, along with uh, some interesting uh, native plant species that aren't terribly common here anymore. So I'm interested to see how healthy our insect population is, because insects as a whole are a great indicator for biodiversity as well as uh, wildlife health across a much larger area. Um, many species depend heavily on insects for food, and a lot of species of insects are the major drivers of biological controls for a lot of species of weeds and other pests. So getting a good idea of what our insect population is out here during this time of year will help better drive our management of the property. The other reason why I'm out here is I need a photo of an eastern tent caterpillar moth, and I've spent probably several dozen hours blacklighting with um, professional biologists as well as hardcore amateur entomologists, and for some reason I don't have a photo of one, and I don't know why. Insects are important to our native ecosystems and wildlife in more ways than you could ever imagine. Uh, they feed wildlife, they pollinate plants, they control invasive plants and weeds, uh, and they interact with each other and the plants and the wildlife and everything else in a million other ways that no one can even begin to comprehend. Having a diverse population of insects on your property is one of the keys to determining whether or not you are successfully managing the habitat. Now, black lighting, uh, you have to do this multiple times a year and you have to do it sometimes multiple times in the same season. Uh, because insects have uh, highly specific phenologies and some things uh, you'll only see during very specific times of the year. Because of that, we need to survey multiple times a year during different climatic conditions in order to get a, a full picture of what is actually out here. And other species are common throughout the year under pretty much all conditions. Now, not only is black lighting an incredibly powerful tool for both ecologists and biologists, it's something that's super easy to do, and even you can do it in your backyard. You may not even need to buy any special equipment or do anything. And I'm going to show you what you need in order to blacklight for insects around your house. Of course, the first thing you need is a blacklight. However, you don't necessarily have to have a blacklight. Any kind of light, fluorescent, incandescent, or what's best is a mercury vapor. Um, as long as they put out the cool spectrum of light, they'll work excellent for attracting insects. However, black lights are great because they don't blind you, they don't stand out and disturb uh, native wildlife, and the insects can see this light radiating out into the atmosphere, even if you can't. This right here is a cheap LED unit that I bought offline, and I'm trying it out here for the first time. Uh, fluorescent black lights work just fine, regular fluorescent white lights work fine, uh, mercury vapor lights work the best, but they're difficult to get and they're incredibly bright. Now the second thing you'll need is a sheet. You need something white, large, flat, and reflective to bounce that light off and scatter it up into the atmosphere for your night flying insects to see and be attracted to. And you also need something for the insects to land on and attach to so that you can view them. And a white sheet works best for that. It reflects UV light and insects really pop out of it when they land on it and they're much easier to see. And the other thing you need is something to hang it from and something to hang it with. I've got it tied up here with a piece of paracord, and I, since I have a hemmed sheet here, I just ran it through the hem. And it's really just that easy. And you also want to weigh it down with some bricks or rocks or a log or anything else like that. Now if that looks like a lot of work, don't fret. There's an easy alternative for you. Just turn your porch light on. Insects are naturally drawn to, you know, pretty much any light. 
So if you leave your porch light on in the backyard and say come out later in the evening, there should be a plethora of insects underneath it. The reason why insects are drawn to black lights and other lights is because they use the moon to guide themselves at night. And so this simulates the moon and the best time to blacklight is a warm spring or summer night when you have a new moon. And because there's no moon out, there's no competition for light, and so the insects are naturally drawn to the brightest thing they see, which should be your light. Uh, one thing that also helps when you're blacklighting is to make sure you have a flashlight, or if you've got one, a headlamp. Uh, that can make your life a lot easier. However, don't walk around the light sheet with your headlamp on, uh, because if your headlamp is brighter than your light, the bugs will fly into your face, uh, and that's never a fun time. Also, try not to wear bug spray if you can, because that can repel some insects. So, now that we're all set up, and I've got you introduced on the subject, now all we need is darkness. Let me see if I can do something about that. That was easy. As you can see, now it's dark. It's about... 10 o'clock at night now, and the black light's going. Um, it ended up being a lot darker than I thought it would be tonight, which is great for what we're trying to do, but it is a bit chilly, and because of that, pretty much all we're seeing are spring moths at the moment. Uh, we're not seeing a lot of beetles or crickets or other s insects that would be out during warmer temperatures. However, as you can see right there, that's the moth I'm looking for. That's the eastern tent caterpillar moth. And that's what I set all this up to get a photo of. Because as common as that moth is, for some reason, I just didn't have a photo of one. And I need one for a very important project I'm working on. So yeah, let's take a quick tour around and see what we can spot. Uh, down here, we have a geometer moth. As you saw, most of what we have is moths here tonight, and that's to be expected. Uh, moths are probably our most uh, diverse taxon of insects here. Uh, I think beetles might have them beat. It's either beetles or moths. I'll have to check. That doesn't surprise me. Most of what you're going to see at a uh, nightlight is going to be moths, beetles, and midges, the mosquito group. The fact that we're seeing mostly moths here on a cold night uh, is not surprising to me. Moths are a lot more resilient to cooler weather. But my mission for tonight is accomplished, so the rest of this is just recreation for me, as well as documenting biodiversity out here at the Hutchinson House. I'm Tom, thanks for joining me out here tonight, and I hope you learned something new about insects and how insects are surveyed as well. And I hope you try and survey some insects in your own backyard, whether that's with a dedicated nightlight or a blacklight sheet, or, you know, just cutting on your porch and seeing what's out there at 11 at night. Thanks for joining me. Till next time.